I must have some kind of a sickness. That's right, I bought another one. This one is not my proudest purchase ever, but it is certainly an interesting addition, and it can be repaired, I believe, at least for the most part. You saw who made it. That is such a rip-off of the Atari logo, like, seriously. I mean, what, what were they thinking? But anyways, I believe Candle is a Canadian brand. I'm not sure they're offered anywhere else, but as you can see, it's got a wood grain cabinet. Which is why I say I must have a sickness, because I seem to be attracted to just about everything that's got a wood grain cabinet. I almost bought the other one that they had there. They had think, something made by Strauss a couple of weeks back. I should have bought that one too, but I didn't. Because really, frankly, I'm not really all too interested in clocks. I've just got a boring display. But this one was for the right price. Or what looked to be the right price. At least I thought. And it is definitely vintage. You can see if I flip it down here. There's your quality control pass sticker. 851128Z, I believe is what that says. So that would be November 28th of 1985 that this thing passed the quality control testing. So, it was probably sold in 1986, based on that. There we can see some uh, certifications. There's our serial number. And warning, shock hazard, do not open, like it has on every clock. There's your model, it's a JCR355. You can see some of the other information. By Jutan International Limited, Toronto, Canada. So it wasn't made too far away from here. Well, actually, that's the company. It was made in Hong Kong. Uh, probably because this is another one of those cheap budget 80s brands like Sound Design was. And all of that. Let's see if I can get the battery backup door open. This thing is a pain when it comes down to this. Yeah, I think I need two hands. Now, forget about two hands. I had to use a screwdriver. It does have battery backup. This is the battery that it actually came with. Um, you can see it's uh, an off-brand, but I believe it's a modern battery, at least going from that on the back of it. And then I just drop it on the floor like a boss, but it doesn't really matter. Even the foam is in decent condition. It's not rotting away or anything. It's not like peeling or anything like that. That's actually pretty impressive. But I've yet to find any of these kinds of things with foam that rots, so... Fortunately, I've seen rotting foam before, but it, it's not a very pleasant thing to see or deal with. It really does fit in there quite tightly. Unfortunately, here's where we get into all of the bad news. You can see on the front, it's missing an indicator. That indicator is actually there. As you can see, when I push and hold the alarm button pretty tightly, it does show up. So there's a broken joint somewhere in there. The tuner works, although it's kind of weird. I'm not sure if I'm messing it up, because when I go to the end of the travel, I can still turn it. So, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Here are our buttons. Time, hour. That's for... Time, hour, minute. Your alarm one and alarm two. I'm not sure what the off indication means. Um, and a sleep timer, which I can't seem to get to work. Oh, there it goes. I couldn't get that to work earlier. Now I can't turn it off. Bear with me for a second. I guess we could take a look at the radio now. Do some tuning with it. This is the FM band. This is not a very good tuner, I found. Bring your computer back to life. Hi, it's Gary from TSC. It's easy to clean your infected computer with our Today Showstopper. You can hear a buzz. I think the capacitors are going bad. I haven't heard that on the radio in a long time. Uh, 
Let's switch it over to AM and see if we can pick anything up. Unfortunately, we've only got talk AM stations here, so that's what all we're going to get. So, you can kind of hear how quiet it is, and I'm going to touch the volume control here and we'll see what happens. Then you can hear the scratchy volume control. That's a problem. This control here is scratchy. Switch on the back here is fine. It's the AM FM band switch. This switch is okay. And I think this switch is okay as well. This is for switching between the two alarms. Because you cannot apparently have both alarms on at the same time. You can only choose between one or the other. So now unfortunately I'm stuck with this stupid sleep timer on. Um, and I'm going to finish this video off by saying, like I said, this is not my best purchase ever. I could have picked a whole bunch of better. They had better clocks there for just a little bit more than what this was. But I picked this one up mainly because of its wood grain. And hey, it can be fixed. Oh, wait a minute. There was one other thing that I wanted to point out. I think you press snooze to shut off the sleep timer. I just realized that now. Wow. But there's one other thing I'd like to point out. It's that it's actually got a calendar on it, as you can see. Today is the 20th of February, so... And that does actually seem to work. I'm not quite sure what it does when it comes into contact with a leap year. Because I couldn't figure out how to set the year on this. And I'm not even sure it has any concept of a year. So maybe it just doesn't do a leap year. I don't know. But either way, I think that's about it. There's your candle. JT, JCR355 clock radio. I believe I got that right off the top of my head. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. You know, this CP666 signing off. I'll see you next time. Until then. And yes, this will be another alarm clock that I can set off on New Year's. Which is another reason why I bought it.